Don't face reality. Facing reality blocks manifestation more than absolutely anything else. Reality is overrated. In fact, it's nothing more than a reflection, a delayed reaction to the energy we've put out into the universe in the past. Our only power is in the present and in any present moment, we can choose to focus our energy in a new way. And as a result, we can experience a completely new reality. We can change reality. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do that. I am going to teach you how to literally use this present moment as a doorway, as a portal that you can step through at any time into a completely new reality by ignoring the reality that already exists. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. If you hear footsteps in the backgrounds or the background sounds of the ocean waves, it's because I'm actually walking on the beach. So I hope you don't mind the background noise, but hopefully we can just take this walk together and chat about the thing that I see blocking the law of attraction from working, blocking manifestation more than anything else, which is facing reality taking score too soon let's say you're trying to manifest success in your business the world tells you to face reality so you see that right now your business isn't successful so you set about trying to use all these law of attraction techniques you're meditating you're visualizing you're saying your daily affirmations you're doing everything right you're putting the energy out there into the universe but then let's say every 10 minutes you check on your business and you see that customers aren't coming in sales aren't coming in your business isn't growing every time you notice that current reality every time you face that reality you are actually preventing the manifestation of your business success and continuing to create more and more of the business reality you are already experiencing. This will be fatal to your manifestation. It can even prevent it altogether. So how do we avoid facing reality when that's all we've ever been trained to do, right? Everyone tells us, family, friends, society, that we should be logical, that we should look at reality as it is. We're taught all these ways to measure where we are in the moment, whether it's weighing ourselves every day if you're on a weight loss journey, whether it's seeing how much money is coming in or out by checking our bank balance all the time. In today's day and age, it's even easier to face reality than ever before. But the key to manifesting is to find a way to ignore the current reality in order to create something completely new. If we continue to face reality, to observe reality, to take score too soon, we continue to play out our patterns. And these patterns are stored within our subconscious mind. Just to show you how much power you have access to when you stop facing reality, research has shown that this subconscious part of our brain is actually thousands of times more powerful than the conscious mind. This means that until we find a way to access this subconscious part of our brain, to create new realities instead of focusing on current realities, our unconscious mind will continue to play its patterns on a loop. I invite you today, instead 
instead of facing reality on that thing you're trying to manifest, instead of taking score and getting discouraged, give yourself a period of time in which you will not face reality. You will not check those business sales. You won't track your progress. You will simply allow yourself to immerse in the possibilities of the future, to immerse in a vision for yourself and your life. Every moment is a portal that you can step through into a new reality. But only if in that moment, instead of looking at where you are right now, you can use that moment as an opportunity to envision what you desire, to believe in something new. One way of looking at this is almost like a virtual reality process. Pretend that life is like a video game that you are living in a virtual reality and that by simply looking at your circumstances differently, by simply envisioning something new, you can create that world around you. One powerful tool you can use to access your subconscious mind, ignore your current reality and create a completely new one is by meditating with subliminal affirmations. I have created a library of over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. And the reason I am so passionate about subliminals is because they access that subconscious part of the brain, which, like I said earlier, is thousands of times more powerful than the conscious mind. So to explore my most popular subliminals in my library, that you can begin using to shift your reality and stop facing the reality of your current circumstances. Check the description box for more information on the subliminals I've created on my website. I just want to end this video by saying you and you alone have the power to create and recreate yourself and your life in every moment. You do not have to be imprisoned by your current circumstances. And if you feel imprisoned, the only reason you're feeling that way is because you may be facing reality, observing your reality as it is too closely and not allowing yourself to dream something better. So I hope you find the courage within yourself to create the reality that you desire and deserve in life, the reality that is your birthright, the destiny that your soul came to this planet to fulfill. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. If I resonated with you, I hope you'll subscribe to this channel. Join our community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Have a wonderful, magical rest of your day, and I'll talk to you again in the next podcast.